Hey, so in this video, we're going to check out how to add sauces to a sandwich. So the first thing that you need to know is how much sauce do you put on the sandwich? So the default amount is three passes. So as you see here, I have about three passes of the mayonnaise going back and forth. Okay. And you're going to do that with basically any of the sauces, mayonnaise, chipotle, sweet onion, Caesar, vinaigrette, honey mustard, ranch, except these are two important exceptions is the sriracha and the yellow mustard. So since these sauces have a pretty strong taste, you don't want to put the typical three passes down or it may be too overwhelming for the sandwich. Okay, so instead for these sauces, just do one pass of the sriracha and the yellow mustard. Okay, so something like that. If I was making a sandwich and they got mayonnaise and mustard, I would put it in that ratio of three to one. Okay, same thing for the sriracha. Okay, so this is the general amount that you should have for each of the sauces for mayonnaise and everything else besides the sriracha and the mustard. All right, and then when we actually put it on the sandwich, a big tip is that you want to place the, the sauce in this region here. Okay, so you don't want to place it on the edges around here. Okay, so you want to place it towards the center of the sandwich. That's really important because uh, what will happen is, let me get my cursor here is once the sandwich is closed, the sauce is going to spread out to the rest of the sandwich and not smear off of the sandwich. So if you place it towards the edge of the sandwich, all that mayonnaise is going to squish out off of the edge of the sandwich and it's going to be a really messy sandwich to eat. Okay, so see there how the mayonnaise isn't squished off of the sandwich, but it's just spread across the sandwich. That's kind of what you're shooting for in there. Okay, so the customer can eat it nicely without getting sauce all over their hands. Those are the type of sandwiches that you're shooting for when you make a sandwich, okay? Something that's enjoyable to eat. And don't worry, because it may seem weird at first, but the mayonnaise is gonna get over the entire sandwich. Okay, last tip that I want you to know is sometimes like especially mayonnaise, like see that air pocket? Uh, like the mayonnaise will get an air pocket and basically it won't squeeze out anymore. So what you need to do here is the, the tendency for new employees is they want to bane it on the, on the breadboard there. Okay, so don't bane it on the breadboard because it will get mayonnaise all, all around the the sandwich unit, right? So don't do that. Instead, what you want to do is I just hold the bottle over the sandwich and I just give it a quick little jerk, right? And that's going to shoot all the mayonnaise towards the bottom of the bottle and then it's going to come out nicely. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Don't bang it on the table and get mayonnaise all over the place.